boys and girls. My name is Miss Jennifer, and I am a teaching artist in the Pace Art Program. We, cut, we integrate the arts with the classroom curriculum. And we're coming to you today, thanks to the Acadiana Center for the Arts and the Lafayette Parish School System in Lafayette, Louisiana. And today we will be learning about unicorns. We're gonna learn a couple things about unicorns and we're gonna make our own unicorn picture today. All right, boys and girls, so we're going to be talking about this mythological creature today. Does anybody have any idea what this might be? Well, if you said a unicorn, you are correct. We are actually going to be making unicorns today. And we know that it is a unicorn because it has what? You're right, it has a horn on its head. So we're going to be learning a little bit about unicorns today. And we are also going to be making some drawings. So here's a drawing that I made of sort of a girl unicorn. And here's one that I made of sort of a boy unicorn. So unicorns are pretty amazing in that they are mythical. Hmm, what do you think? The word mythical might be, well, mythical means that they're kind of imaginary. They're kind of made up. And so they're really not real. Although there is an animal that we know that looks similar to this unicorn. If we take this horn off right here, what does this animal look like? If you said a horse, you are correct. A unicorn kind of looks like a horse. A a um, unicorn has a horn right in the middle of its head, and a unicorn is um, known as a beast, which is sort of like a large animal that has the spiraling horn right in the middle of its head. And spiraling means that it kind of looks like maybe it's like turning a little bit. All right, and so I want to go ahead and start working on my unicorn today. To make my unicorn, I'm going to need a white sheet of paper and a black marker. Now, we will also be using these guys today. We're going to be using crayons, different color crayons. So I would just say, kind of grab all the crayons that you have because you never know what colors you might want to use when you're making your unicorn today. Okay, right, so now you should have your paper your marker, and your crayons. And we are going to go ahead and get ready to start. So what we're gonna to do today is we're going to do this together. I'm going to draw part of it and then you are going to draw it with me. So right at the top, let's see if I can put my paper. Right at the top of your paper, right in the middle, I want you to put a dot, just like this, right on the top. Then I want you to go down to about right here. See that space right here? Now let's just put another dot, just like this. Good job. All right, and then right on the side of that, we want to put two more dots. So let's count them. We have one, two, three dots right here on our paper. Now watch this. We're going to use our straight line. And we're going to start from the top dot, and we're going to go down to the dot on this side. Just like this. We're connecting it together, kind of like a diagonal line. Then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. What do you think that might be, boys and girls? Well, if you said his horn, you know what? You're right. That is his horn. So go ahead and draw your horn now. Good job. All right, right at the bottom where we put this little dot, we want to kind of make like a little wavy line all the way across. That's going to be the bottom of our unicorn's horn. Got it? All right, and then we're going to be putting another dot. So here's our first dot, here's our second dot. Let's just put another dot. And all that's going to do is that's going to help us to know where the bottom right here of the horse's hair is at. 
Now remember, oh, Miss Jennifer said horse. Is that a horse? No, the unicorn, but it's kind of like a horse. So this part right here is called the mane, part of the mane, and so is this on our unicorn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a curved line and another curved line, two curved lines. And then I'm gonna connect it together with a zigzag line. Good job. So we now have his horn and we have this part right here that's called his mane. I'm gonna give you a little time to catch up with Miss Jennifer on that one. And so unicorns um, kind of showed up a long time ago and um, they had lots of pictures of unicorns that were drawn inside of these um, caves. And these caves are kind of like these tunnels that are um, kind of under like the ground. And so unicorn pictures started showing up in those caves. They still really don't know who drew them, but um, the amazing thing is that when they were found, they named them unicorns. Unicorns are known to have special powers and they are super colorful. Unicorns sometimes um, are often talked about with what's here and you can't see it super well but if we have these in the sky and they're very colorful what is this called boys and girls if you said a rainbow good job unicorns are often associated with rainbows a lot of times their mane or their hair will look like rainbows kind of like the colors that i have here i thought that was pretty cool all right, so let's get back to what we are working on. The next thing that we want to do is we want to make our unicorn's ears. So watch right here. I'm going to start at that dot that I made and I'm going to now go out and I'm going to make a curve line. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So curve line going this way curve line going this way. Don't worry if it's not exactly the same. It's perfectly fine. Just have fun creating your unicorn today. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and I'm going to make another curve line to about right here. And I'm going to do the same thing here. It doesn't matter if they're not the same. It is okay. Those are what? His what? Ears awesome. Unicorns are thought to have lived in the forest a long time ago and they ate nuts and fruits. But we said that they were mythical creatures which means that they probably really didn't live a long time ago and they don't live now because someone probably used their imagination to create this animal. All right, and that's looking really good, guys. I'm liking that. All right, now the next thing that we wanna do is we're gonna start from here and we want to now make a curve line going this way and a curve line going that way so that we have one on each side. Again, remember, it doesn't matter if they're not the same on both sides. Now that part is the side of his face right here. So we just need the side of his face. I'm gonna pull it up just a little bit. And now I'm going to make another curved line just like this on both sides. We've now just made the bottom of his mouth. Now if yours kind of goes off the side or the bottom of the paper, it's okay. Miss Jennifer kind of went a little bit too far. And then I'm just gonna kind of connect it back together and that's perfectly fine. Good job. All right, the next thing that we want to do is we want to go back up to the top and what we're going to do inside of the ears is we're going to put a curved line going this way and a curved line going this way and we're going to connect it together. How's it going? 
I bet these are looking really, really nice, boys and girls. Good job. All right, we'll do the same thing to the other side. Inside the ear, curve line, curve line, and connect it together. Now, we have his ears finished up. Good job. All right, now the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna start working on his eyes. We know that he's gonna have an eye on this side and an eye on this side. We're now gonna go back to making the dots that we were actually making. And so here, we're gonna put a dot here and a dot here so that we have one eye on each side. Awesome. I'm going to now make that dot into a bigger dot using my black marker. Just like this. And there you go. All right. Now we wanna work on his eyes. And if we look at this picture here, you will see this is the dot that we just made. We're going to also be making a curve on the top and a curve on the bottom in just a little bit. Can you tell me what these lines might be right here? If you said eyelashes, good job. If you want your eyelashes a lot longer than the eyelashes that I have on my unicorn, you know what? Make them longer. If you want more eyelashes, add more. It is your unicorn. It's perfectly fine. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make another circle around the dot that I colored in on both sides. Mmm, starting to look like eyes now. That's pretty amazing. Awesome. So unicorns are well known throughout the world and a lot of boys and girls love um, collecting things that have unicorns on them. And Ms. Jennifer happens to like unicorns also. And I thought that's why this would be a fun little lesson for us to do today. Something a little different, something magical. All right. How's it going? Awesome. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna start and I'm going to make a curved line on the top. And then look at this, connect it back together, touching that circle, and there is one eye. We'll do the same thing here. Curve line on the top and then connect it back to the circle and to the end. And there is my unicorn's eye. You should have two eyes. Now, if you wanna change it up a little bit from what Miss Jennifer did with her eyes, maybe you might wanna put some little lines in your unicorn's eyes. That would be something that's a little different. What do you think? It's always nice to make things different so they're not exactly the same. All right, good job. Time for those eyelashes. Let's make them super long if you want them super long. So here's one, two, three. You want more of them? I'd say make more of them. There you go. Oh, and I think I wanna make these a little bit longer on this side. Just like that. So let's make our eyelashes. If you wanna make eyelashes at the bottom of the eye, go ahead. Let's make more eyelashes. Awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna go down to the bottom of my unicorn's nose right here. And for his nose, does anybody know what we call these when you kind of start in the middle and you get bigger and bigger as you go around? Those are called spirals. There are actually two ways that you can make spirals. And so here we go. You can start with the dot in the middle and you can pretend you're making a circle and you can get larger and larger. Do that again, and larger and larger. Or you could do it the opposite and you could go big and get smaller and smaller. I'll do that one more time for 
for you. It the large and smaller and smaller. So we are going to be using spirals today. If you decide you want to use something else besides spirals, go ahead. We can put that on your picture. All right, so here we go. So now I have two spirals. How's it going? Good job. Now remember, if your unicorn doesn't exactly look like you want it to look, it's okay because after this video, you know how to do it now. You can go back and you can do this again a second time. Now let's go up to the horn. For this one, I sort of just made some curved lines. Do you see that? <clears throat> I think I want to make it a little different for this one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make some curved lines. And I'm going to make them go this way a little bit. There you go. Do you see that? But then I'm going to go back and I want to add a second line to each curved line. Just like this. That way it'll look different. If you want, you can put some little lines inside of his mane. Kind of make it look like maybe hair a little bit. Mm, I'm liking it like that. Good job. All right. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at this part right here. We're about to make the mane around the outside of our unicorn's head. But we'll start with this part first, kind of where the mane goes over the top of the head. And simply we'll start at the ear, go to the horn with a curve line, start at the horn, go to the ear with a curve line. That's simple. That's part of the mane. All right. I'm loving your unicorns. Those look great. Awesome. All right, now we wanna work on the mane. The mane is sort of the hair part, and I talked about the mane here. We know that horses have manes on them. That's the horse's hair. But also, because a unicorn looks like a horse, it also has a mane. And so, if you look here, what kind of line did I use right here, boys and girls, to make the mane? If you said a zigzag line, you are correct. But I started kind of making a curve line. So I started sort of at the ear and then I just kind of went down with a curve and then a curve on this side. So I kind of do the same thing to both sides. And then the next thing I did is I sort of just went zigzag, kind of like I was maybe writing the letter Z and letter Z, letter Z and curve line down. Let's do that again here, right? There we go. Now this one's gonna be a backward Z. Letter Z, letter Z, and curve to the bottom. There we have our mane. Now let's do something different from this one. Let's maybe for this one, let's add some wavy lines so that maybe it sort of looks like hair on the mane. Don't forget to do the same thing to the top, boys and girls, because this is part of his name right here. Oh, I'm kind of liking that. I'm liking those lines on his name. That's awesome. Good job. And if you even wanted to maybe put some lines um, kind of here and there, you can do that too. It's up to you. So we are just about finished drawing our unicorn. <coughs> but I want to go back and I want to look at the two pictures that I made. And if you see back here where the paper is white, I made these little designs here. Do you see that? And really all I did was dash, dash, and then dash, dash, and a dot in the middle. I'll get my scrap paper and I'll show you. Watch this. Dash, dash, side by side dash dash top and bottom dot in the middle dash 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 dot in the middle dash 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 dot in the middle so that's one way that you could actually add designs to your picture and another thing that you could actually do is you can maybe make the little 
dashed lines like I did here on this one. And simply that one is just little lines that are right next to each other, just like this. All right, so that's another way. Now, there's something else that we possibly could do today. And what if we make a dot just like this, and then maybe we make a circle around it. We can make a dot, a circle around it, a dot, a circle around it. It's really up to you. You can be as creative with it as you would like. And so, don't forget, that when we start coloring, we're going to be coloring these different colors. All right, and so I'm gonna just color in some dots. I'm using my marker, um, my black marker, but you know what, if you want to use your crayons, or if you really even want to go back and um, use something else that you have laying around your room or your house um, to do this. You can do this like a marker or um, twistable color or something like that. So you could simply, if you want, just make some polka dots or you could go back and you could turn these all into polka dots that are in the middle of these circles. Now, if you want to do this and you want to do these little lines or maybe even like these little um, kind of like starburst kind of things that I made, you could add that to this picture too. I'm going to leave it up to you. If you want to make something totally different that your little imagination is telling you to do, then do it. Because remember, our unicorn is imaginary and so we can definitely use our imagination on this picture. And so there you go. I now have my circles around my dots. All right, boys and girls, now that we have finished um, drawing our picture, and by the way, I think you guys did a really good job. And remember, you can always practice this again later. You can do this lesson again after the video is over. Or maybe even, you know what? Maybe you can show your friends how to draw this picture. Just remember that when you finish coloring this picture, ask someone, an adult, to take a picture of you with your picture and put it on Facebook, making sure to tag the Acadian Center for the Arts. And so that way I will get a chance to see it and all of the boys and girls in our community will also get to see your beautiful unicorn. So let's go ahead and we're gonna start coloring today. I have a whole bunch of colors right here, as you can see, and here, are the pictures of the unicorns that I colored earlier. Remembering that you can decide on whatever colors you want. We've kind of looked at this picture a lot today, so I think that I'm going to go ahead and leave this picture up. Now, just have fun with it. Just pick any colors that you want. So I think that I really like this blue color. I'm gonna start first by coloring my unicorn's eyes. So just pick any color that you would like to color his eyes and let's color them now. There we go. Maybe you wanna add different colors. Maybe you don't want it all the same color. So here maybe I could add a little bit of orange. And that way you can just kinda of use different colors together on your unicorn. I'm going to now start coloring the inside of his ears. And so I want to use, this is sort of a, it's called a scarlet color. It's sort of a reddish orange color. I kind of like this color. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Notice I'm kind of coloring around the inside edge and I'm leaving the middle of it white because I want to come back and I want to put another color there. And for this one, I think that the color I'm going to use is yellow. I kind of like when those two colors mix together. So let's color it yellow. Again, any colors that you want, you do not have to follow the colors that I am coloring. And there we go. All right. Now the next thing that I want to do is um, I kind of want to um, do my, this one a little different. 
For this unicorn, I used black along the edges of the unicorn's head because I wanted to leave the face white, but I wanted to kind of still have some color. And so I think for this one, I'm gonna use brown. I'm just kind of curious to see what that's gonna look like. And all I'm doing is sort of just coloring along the edges of my unicorn's face, just like this. And you know what, I might color a little bit kind of in the middle like this. I might go around those little spirals that we made. Just like this. And you know what? I'm going to add some to his ears. So just pick the color you want. Does it have to be white? No. Does it have to be brown? No. Could it be purple? Why not? Could it be blue? Absolutely. Now, when you color the head, don't forget these two little parts right here that we talked about. That's part of the um, horse's mane. So I'm gonna put a little bit of brown here in his mane. Again, pick the colors that you want when you're doing this. Oh, and there we go. I'm gonna color this part too. Awesome. Um, the next color, you know what? I think I want purple. I really like this purple color. So I'm just gonna add some purple. I'm gonna turn my paper just a little bit to make it a little bit easier for me to color. Now, those lines that I made, if you notice right here, like boys and girls, I'm gonna kind of trace um, those lines with my color. Do you see that? I'm sort of putting a little bit of color on each one of the lines on my unicorn's mane. Remember that is his hair. Just like this. And then I'm going to color around the outside edge. There we go. I'm going to color a little bit right here too. Alright, so there's my purple. I'm going to put a little bit of purple on the outside here. I'm going to go back to the top for the rest of his mane. I kind of like that brown and purple that's together. Um, let's see, I want to do something different though. I am going to pick another color um, that I did not use and maybe that color will be a regular orange. And I'm gonna add some orange to my unicorn's mane. If you want to use more than the colors that I use, which are three colors, then go ahead and do it. Maybe you might want to color one part one color, one part the other color, and you can do that all the way through your horse's mane. All right, and there we go. Don't forget this part. I almost forgot. So let me get my purple again. And there we go. Putting some color along those lines that I told you about and adding some orange. <clears throat> and there we go. Now my favorite, favorite part is coloring the horn. And for my horn, I'm going to use this kind of pretty pinkish purple color. And I think I'm gonna kind of use it here. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna use some green. Why not? There we go. And in between, let's see what color I'm going to use. You know what? I didn't use any blue here. So this might be a good time to actually color in some blue. Just like this. Yeah, there we go. I'm really liking my unicorn. How about you guys? How's it going? Oh, I bet you have some beautiful colors. I love your choices of colors. Good job. I have one more thing to do, and that is to color my circles with my dots on the inside. I think that I want to use my imagination. And if you remember, your imagination is just kind of whenever you just kind of have fun and just kind of just pick things that 
or just kind of um, anything that you think of, any color that you think of. I do not want them all the same color. So I'm gonna just kind of put one color here, one color there. I'm gonna use some of that green, pretty color. It's the same color that I colored my unicorn's eyes with. I really like this color. And so, there I go. And I have one more here, and for that one, I think I'm just gonna color it this color. <clears throat> and there we go. Now, if you decide you wanna color the rest of your picture um, in the back of your unicorn, you can absolutely do that. And I think I will do that. I'm gonna use some pink. And I just kind of want to scribble some color really fast. And you could take your time with this and you can put different colors if you would like. It's really up to you. Just like this. <clears throat> I have some pink, but you know what? I'm gonna change it up a bit. I'm gonna grab some yellow and I'm gonna add some yellow with it. Ooh, I'm kind of liking that. That's pretty awesome. Do you remember um, in the picture that we talked about, I said, we see these in the sky? Rainbows, the perfect time to use colors like rainbows. And you know what, if you even wanna make a rainbow on your picture, go ahead and do that. I want you to make sure that you come back and see us every day at 10 a.m. on the Acadiana Center for the Arts YouTube channel for kindergarten, first, and second grade, each tied to the academic curriculum. You can also get these lessons on AOC as part of the Learn United program. Accessible on AOC on Cox Channel 16 or LUS Channel 4. Kindergarten lessons will be aired at 8 a.m and first and second grade will be aired at 9 a.m. Some lessons will be in visual arts and some will be in creative movement. Be sure to come back and make art with us tomorrow. If you're interested in supporting programs like this, visit the Acadiana Center for the Arts .org, the nonprofit that manages the PACE program. Spread the word and share our videos and keep making art.